find her real quick. Fix that. Thank you. Let me know, you know. Let me find her real quick. Fix that. Thank you. Let me know, you know, if there's anything I need to be doing better. So, okay. Hola. Hola, how are you? I need to peel the potatoes. That's the next thing. So. Oh, yum. I can't wait for this one. So I'm just uh, peeling the potatoes. Actually, I'm going to just scooch you guys. Can you see my bowl? See my yes. Bowl? Yeah, we can see the bowl. <laughs> see me and my bowl? Okay. <laughs> so, hi, Christine. Hi. I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so funny. Um, I, I had started to peel. So I'm going to keep a plate um, because I'm going to put my large peels on there because, you know, it's funny because we were talking about how um, when sometimes people peel potatoes that they leave a lot of skin on the potato. And um, my grandma always used to say, oh, I can make a whole meal out of everything that you left on that potato skin. <laughs> so I always thought that was funny. So, and I like to peel my potatoes, too, because sometimes they get those bad spots on them. Just cut them off. In fact, uh, my son found the bad uh, potato spot earlier, and he was like, oh, I'm going to throw that whole potato away. I'm like, absolutely not. You are not. You just cut the spot out and move on. The only potatoes that I don't peel really is the golden potatoes because they're, I feel like I can get away with it. Even in soup, right. you know, like if I'm feeling right. lazy, it's going to be golden. <laughs> okay. For sure, for sure. So, um, oh, bacon is going. Okay. Here, I'm gonna hey, go. Chef Bradley. A little bit. Down a little bit. Hola, everybody. Oh, we almost got bacon in there too. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give Food Talk TV a follow. And that's October Dragonfly on the screen. Uh, if you go to uh, <laughs> www.foodtalktv.com and go to the creators page, you can learn more about her and everybody else. So guys, I have been very busy working six days a week. So you don't see me as often on here because I am in the middle of making candy canes at Dosher's Candies. Um, you should be able to see those out in um, Kroger, out in um, Sam's Clubs, and stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing. Is Saturdays I have been striping candy canes. Okay, so all we're seeing is your arms. Uh, oh. So we're not seeing what you're doing. Um, I'm cutting the potato, but you need to see that I'm cutting the potato. <laughs> I was just about to talk about candy canes. I was going to say that I feel like last year, right after Halloween, you know, it's like everybody skipped over Thanksgiving and it was like all about Christmas. <laughs> I think I get a pass though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you do, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But we still do Thanksgiving. But, you know, I, I get a little bit of a pass. Um, we had, we've had the owners, like each one of the owners have come in on a different weekend and done different things and it's been kind of interesting to watch how they do things and you know they do very much now understand sometimes the struggles that we go through uh when we're doing the candy cane season so um they are right there with us and i, I really do love the company and work for so you know that's all so christine about. christine yeah. suzanne gare says she's not jealous that you get to make what we live for all year <laughs> candy canes Christmas candy <laughs> I know Christmas candy I know I have a couple videos getting ready to come out on my channel that are not light switch related <laughs> did I see Bonnie's in here yeah if she is I Ola, I see her. Ellen I see Ellen hello hello welcome um, to another soup night of food talk food talk TV yeah, that's right. So sometimes I, I think this is going to be a good one. I mean, potatoes um, and baking. What could be better? Is there going to be know, cheese right? in there too? <laughs> Wait, what? Is there going to be cheese in there too? Uh, yeah. Oh, so this okay. is the potato that my son wanted to throw away, and you can see it. It's got problems, <laughs> but we're going to. But the whole that. thing doesn't have a problem, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a, oh no, I'm just doing it before. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, the whole thing doesn't have a problem. But he thought it did. He was like, oh no, that's not going in my suit. <laughs> hey, Scotty, I'm glad you found a new channel to hang out with. Because we are here every single day. Every single day. Getting that bacon oil stir there. All right, can you see everything I'm doing here? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. Cut these. Now, I'm not a, an a expert potato peel. Ooh, potato peeler like uh, Miss Sherry. She is uh, something else. She can the whiz. Really, I know. She can just whiz them right yeah. off there. You know, right Sherry, right you know, off. Sherry is standing in front of her, um, in front of her phone right now, uh, peeling potatoes while you're doing it too, right? <laughs> and she's probably doing with her eyes done. closed too. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably got her eyes closed and she's just peeling potatoes. Yes. I only got two more to go guys. <laughs> I was going to say, and she probably finished all hers while you're still doing yours. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I just have like a three pound bag and she's like, I've done 10 pounds already. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Alicia4214 asked a good question. Will there be a week of Thanksgiving side dishes? Oh, yes, there will be. <laughs> yes, there will be. We better hurry nope. up. Nobody does Thanksgiving the way Food Talk TV does. Uh, and this will be our second year of doing it. Yep. And I got some, I got some doozies coming, guys. New things I want to try. Try out on my family, see if they'll eat it. Because <laughs> I don't know. If you I guys always want to try new things, but I always end up with the same side dishes. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, bacon. Just right, coming along. One in the middle there. Right, I got a hot spot in the middle. Oh, you know what? It, it would help if I had the large burner on instead of the small burner. It's one of those situations. <laughs> So I'm, I'm wondering, um, for Thanksgiving, uh, do you guys in your family have, say, an older person who always makes the one dish that everybody looks forward to? Yeah. For instance, uh, uh, my Aunt Grace, she's 86 years old, just about 87. Uh, she always makes uh, the macaroni and cheese. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. She's designated. So, so I'm wondering whether you guys have uh, have somebody who does that. I do. It's it's me, and I make everything. <laughs> Suzanne, well, that's Vera, not I'm the sure thing. <laughs> when I was growing up, it was uh, we went over to my grandma's house, and she made everything. So. Okay, Ashley says it's her aunt with her potato salad. Sherry says it's. Her sweet potato casserole. Oh yeah, I bet. Oh, y'all making me hungrier. Okay. I feel like I can smell that bacon. Oh, it really does smell so delicious. Ashley up. says that she makes everything since her grandma passed. And yeah, that's me. That's me. Let's see. My mom with corn pudding. Mother-in-law does the bird. Hmm. Yep. There we go, Bon. Phase it in. Phase it in. If you guys don't know the phase it in commercial, we'll repost it on uh, Food Talk TV. We posted it last time. Oh, hey. I got a little crazy with it, but okay. Okay. Anywho, this is supposed to make my life easier. <laughs> and it does for the most part. Okay. We gotta get her put together correctly. Right? Yeah. That really looks hard to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just uh, taking my potatoes, putting them in this little dude. I might have to slice them in half. Suzanne, what does that mean? Your, uh, your husband and his aunt, anything but chocolate eclair cake does that mean that she doesn't make chocolate eclair cake or what
I'm just chopping potatoes, guys. Oh, that is easy. Yes. Are you making them french fries? No, no, you'll see. Not that one. It'll be easier to cook down that way. Yes. Chef Bradley Back says he gives that time. one of those. Yes, I love it. I love it so much. Bobby says that each year it's a contest to see who comes up with the best sweet potato recipe. Oh, that's a good one. That sounds like fun. I think I missed Deanna. I think Deanna says something, but I missed it. Something well, about... Yeah, like this little chopper, you can get it in uh, the link in my bio. Okay, you better move, dude. Yes, if you go to October Dragonfly's um, page, she's got a link in her bio that has her Amazon favorites. Also, if you go to foodtalktv.com, uh, you can see a list of uh, our Amazon favorites as a whole. Oh, yeah. Christine, are you trying to be in the live and get your workout in at the same time? Yes. Because that's what I feel like. <laughs> I was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Yeah. So it just sounds worth it. You're killing two birds with one stone and a bunch of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. This is all you need, guys, is just uh, one of these little workout machines here. <laughs> yeah. It actually makes it rather easy. So, I mean, I guess I could just. But I wanted them the same thing. <laughs> Scotty Rogers says, oh my God, I'm about to buy that chopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. It looks like work out and cut potatoes. <laughs> yeah, you slice them up and then it dices them for you. It slices. It dices. It does everything. <laughs> it really does. Does it take out the trash? That's a big question. No, <laughs> unfortunately. If it took out the trash, I would have to. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, it is fast. Okay, so that was two tubs of these potatoes. I need to turn my bacon down. She's getting a little smoky. Okay, so I said I was making this two ways. I actually am. So um, I got to slice up my onion, which... Oh, Lillian rolled over here. She was baking some cookies. So, you know, her stuff is first <laughs> in her head. <laughs> Bradley says so. he just got one of those choppers. Is that how you broke your stitches, Bradley? Chopping <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Hey, Ellen, have you re fully recovered from your COVID? Or do you have long COVID? Well, Charlotte, Charlotte uh, says that she's used one of those for years. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. And you've got 6,400 likes. I can see that my, that my sister Benita is uh, tapping her heart out. She's going, wow, thank you, Benita. <laughs> She's great. All right, so I'm just going to take this little onion here. Stick it. Oh, you, wow. You make... Bradley says his has a mandolin also. It does. It does have a mandolin. Oh, you have one too? Oh, okay. Yeah, it has a mandolin insert that it's, goes Okay. In. Yep. That outside of the onion was a little tough. This is a lot easier than cutting it because I don't have to cry about it. <laughs> no cry. This is a lot easier than cutting it because I don't have to cry about it. <laughs> no cry. No crying and cooking. So there we go. So next, I'm going to take. Um, let's see how am I going to do this? So there we go. So next, I'm going to take. Um, Let's see how am I gonna do that? If I can take you guys up a notch. Take you guys up here and then I know you're looking at my door right now, but that's okay. I think right. Has that got both pots in there? 
No, this is my potato peel pile. I'm going to save these because I want to make a TikTok with these later about how not to waste them and turn them into potato skins. Oh, okay. yeah, we'll do that later. Not, not us, but I will. <laughs> so, okay. And so you can see kind of both pots. I'm trying to get it where you can see both. Let's see. I need to go higher and higher. There's the chef guy just joined. Hey, Moses. Hi. How are you? Can you see both, Kaz? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to tighten her up and see what happens. On the iPad, I can see both. And on the Android, I can see yes, part, of the, part of the pot. Okay. Hang on here. I'll scoot it back a smidge. I think that'll do it. All right. Yeah. I know this has nothing to do with it, but Suzanne Gare says she's treating herself to a 99 guava and 7-Up cocktail. Mm. Uh, that sounds a good. Cocktail. <laughs> yeah. okay, that now, sounds good amazing. right now. We're going to have a cocktail. Cocktail is coming. You know this. You know what? I have guava juice. Oh, okay, so you do, you do need to adjust the camera. I do? Because that's, yeah, after you tightened it up, it moved to the side. Okay. How about that? Better. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. okay. I was like, you just tell me if I need to do anything else. <laughs> the pizza oh, mimosa. Well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm, yummy. So I'm taking the bacon out. That's what I'm getting ready to do. And I should do it definitely not with it with this. <laughs> so the bacon goes to Icky? No, the bacon goes on this plate. No, that dog ain't getting this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, I'm sure he is back there. He is super weighty. He is like right on my heels. I wish I could, but I don't want to move the camera anymore. So let's so, see here. We got. So and if we got. Gets left in, it's okay. We got 20 more followers just after you put the camera on the bacon. Nice. Okay, so this is just bacon grease I'm putting in here. It's left over from the other day. So I'm just putting extra bacon. I never waste your bacon grease, guys. In fact, I'm getting a little scraper and I'm scraping this out. Okay. You know, it's funny. I always see people with these little bitty jars of bacon juice. I've got mm -hmm. an entire container. And <laughs> sometimes I can't fit any more bacon uh, grease in that container sometimes. So I actually had a bigger one, but I used it. So anywho, so next I'm going to put onion in here and then some in here as well so this is my uh low carb or keto version so they start out exactly the same make the bacon put in the onions and we're just going to sweat those out this is going to take a second to come up to snuff and then i'm going to get my garlic suzanne east i am going to try that drink east coast kelly's hey i was watching you make uh uh grilled cheese the other day yesterday Okay. And then I'm using the cheery method of garlic. I just threw like three cloves in here because I like garlic. So it's necessary for this recipe. And my family is like, they don't like garlic. But that's funny because I always put it in there. <laughs> the lights are in there. Okay. So anyway, so about a tablespoon of garlic. Okay, so you guys, she's actually working with a pot that's off screen, a smaller pot that's off screen. For yeah, the... there's one right back here. I'm sorry, I should show you. Um, but this is salt and pepper. Just a little salt and pepper. And for this one, here is my the keto version one. It um it has three cloves of garlic, a little bit of onion, some bacon grease, and then I threw in some of this garlic too, which is chicken for that, and some salt and pepper for now. Okay. All right, we're gonna let this sweat it out a little bit. Okay. Oh, it's kind of toasty, toasty. You guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow and hit the little bell. Be notified every time we go live. We go live every single day. We are cooking every single day. Tomorrow is going to be, um, uh, I believe it's Ashley, right? Yes. Yes, Ashley, Ashley Poe. 
Christine, I have a question. What's the difference yep. between this version and your keto version? What's what's the different so, ingredient? I am using potatoes in this version. Okay. And the other version, I'm using cauliflower rice. Oh, okay. but you can also you can also chop up turnips exactly like you chop up the potatoes. A potato. And use okay. turnips. It actually cooks the flavor right out of it, like the turnip okay. flavor. And it's also okay. a root vegetable, but they're lower in carbohydrate. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the difference. Um, we're literally look. There's a piece of bacon survived in there, but well, you know, I actually make I I've made a like a creamy cauliflower soup, so it'll kind of be like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. that, that sounds that's it. good. Okay. So I'm just walking over here to get, um, okay, so you can do this one of two ways. So for my version, I am using this um, Kettle and Fire Keto Broth. I found this butter chicken bone broth. It's so good. Oh, wow. um, I'm putting that in my, in my version. Now okay. for the, um, the rest of the family... I am using Bama's favorite, the Better Than Bouillon. Yeah. You know, so we learn from each other here at the TikTok, at the Food Talk TV. <laughs> hey, I have a question. Uh, isn't bone broth keto anyway? It is. Bone broth is keto. Um, okay. Most of the time, uh, most of your chicken broth is, but for some reason, and I will never understand it, I will find sugar in it. I don't understand that. I, I will never understand that. The rose, but. 1913, those are potatoes and onions. Yeah, these are potatoes. Or these are potatoes, these are onions. But yeah, there'll be yeah. potatoes yeah, in those, there. Those are onions. She has potatoes off to the side. Yeah, they're kind of back here a little bit. <laughs> Sherry said it makes all the difference. <laughs> yes, it does. I'll adjust my camera so you can see my crazy mess back here. <laughs> You, you guys, we've had, we've had seven people join through lives uh, nice. or through, through shares. Uh, please share, share, share. We want to get as many people in here as possible. Oh, yeah. We cook oh, for yeah, you every do. day. We cook, at our, cook our hearts out for you. Yes, we do. All right. The young lady up right above me is Sketchy Chef. She also cooks on Fridays at 4 o'clock Central. I'm getting ready to add about two cups of water to that here in just a few. Hey, Carla. This back portion is getting a little sweaty. So this is my keto version. It's getting there. It's starting to cook down a little. So. She is making creamy bacon potato soup. Yep. And we're going to start with the, the beginning, which is um, on, if you make some bacon. Leave the grease in there, pull the bacon out, then add your onions, your garlic, then salt and pepper. And then this is where I add my chili powder, which has now been moved. <laughs> we discussed like earlier. Um, Lillian, um, like I said, she was baking and um, some things got shuffled and that's okay. We'll find it. Oh, here it is right here. It just gets, actually, I'll use that too. Here's some Tony Sacheries. We'll use some of, that. use some of that. It never hurts to add it. You can add it in both. Okay. And then this is uh, chili, but you can use just plain old ancho chili powder. I have an open one, but I'm going to use this one. Someone is asking about the reduced sodiums uh, better than bouillon. Uh, they have two different uh, two different flavors, and uh, I have both of them. I don't notice the difference. So, um, and What's the it? same goes for the Tony Sachery's too. It's a no salt version. Um, you know, I don't notice the difference in that either. So that was about a tablespoon or two. And that was there. ancho chili powder. Yeah. Yep, I'm just going to give that a stir. Somebody here is asking, what was the first uh, chili you put in? First chili? What was the first that's, seasoning that, you put in? Oh, that's that the was, chili that, that she was just the Tony Sacheries. Oh. And I did add salt and pepper at the very beginning. Okay. But that okay. chili was uh, ancho chili powder. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. So next. We I know. Have... This, I know this because she gave me the recipe before she came. I on. did. I actually did. I was like, Kaz, keep me on task, dude. Okay. So this is about two cups of water. And you can just add um, chicken broth to this or beef broth, whatever you want to use. But you can use that if you want to. And then I think I need another cup. Like I did a little extra potatoes. So this is about three cups of water. Okay. We'll say three, three, four, something like that. But that's so we're going to bring this to a boil. Soup. Hmm? That's going to be the base of your soup. So Yes, this is the base of my soup. We need to bring this to a boil along with add the potatoes in. We're adding them in now so that they can soak up all that flavor. Okay. Okay, and then that box, it's bone, bone broth, right? Yes, this is bone Other, broth. Yeah. Um, this is what I use sometimes, but I'm actually using this one today because I'm making a smaller version for myself. Okay. So, and it's, it's butter chicken. Ooh. But that's in the that's in the small pot. Yeah, that's that's the big so pot is better than bouillon. Yes. But you can use either one, it doesn't matter. Yes. Whatever you decide. Whatever you got on hand. You Jesse can hear Lee's where Jeff I cut Wanda the, the side off. <laughs> so we'll give that a stir. Actually, I'm gonna add no, I'm not gonna add any more because the cauliflower has a lot of water in it. So I'm going to let that come to a boil, and I'll get the cauliflower out. Oh, she is making creamy bacon potato soup. She's making it two ways. She's making some for her, which is actually uh, keto-friendly, and then she's making for the rest. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my son is like, how much are you making? Can I eat it all week? <laughs> <laughs> like, good Lord. So um, this is garlic and herb cauliflower rice cauliflower. I got this at Aldi. I think it was like a dollar fifty. That's gonna so, cook really quickly too. It will. And so mine will actually be done. So I'm pouring that into that um that lower carb version one. I might actually need to add a second one. Um, eh, we'll see what happens. Because it'll cook down some. That's fine. So it's looking, it's looking like this, but I have like a little bit of a um, icy chunk in there. So I'm going to let that cook down a little bit more. Alrighty. So now we're going to clean up as we go. Hey, you guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. We go live every day for your enjoyment. Uh, we have, uh, we've at this point, we have 10 cooks and uh, there's, always going to be something that you like even if you don't like what we made the day before you're going to love what we make the next day that's right and sometimes there's more than one live a day yes sometimes. so hit the bell uh and you'll be notified whenever we go live all right so scotty rogers is in the comments um bragging about his salmon stew oh. Oh. And everybody's talking about it, so <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounds really good. <laughs> oh, man, it does sound good. Um, so next, I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream. Now, um, some you can add half milk and half heavy whipping cream. So I'm adding two cups to this pot here. So you can do like one-on-one, -on -one, or you can add all milk. It doesn't matter. Um, the, it's creamier with the heavy whipping cream, though. And then I'm adding about three quarters of a cup to the one in the back. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's just right. California Huntress. Hola. Hey, California Huntress. Hey, how are you guys? Thank you guys for all the likes and everything. I appreciate it so much. And uh, we're making creamy... Uh, yeah, creamy bacon potato soup. So, so far I got potatoes. I've got uh, better than bouillon, some heavy whipping cream in here. And we're just going to bring this to a rolling boil. In fact, I'm going to stick the lid on it. Get wild with it. Keep that heat. Chris, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump ahead of you like everyone does to me. Are you going to use an immersion blender in that? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am. I've lost my lid. Here it is. 
There it is. Okay. So it looks I like after after a few weeks, um, three or four weeks, it looks like our Sunday viewers are back now. That's nice. Yeah. Hmm. I know why it is because Game of Thrones is over. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys. That was a wild ride if you didn't see it. <laughs> is it over? I was wondering. I didn't know. It is. And they left a great little cliffhanger. I'm just saying. It was okay. pretty good. So, dishes put away here. I don't want to yeah. give away any spoilers, but Daenerys goes no. crazy and she burns up Restoros. So. Listen, wrong, <laughs> wrong one, Kaz. <laughs> Oh, oh. So this oh. is the new Game of Thrones, the newer one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Man. Yeah. Burns up West Rose. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, I'm about ready for an adult beverage, but I've got to put all my stuff away first. And, hey, guys, something I learned off of Food Talk TV is better than bouillon goes in the fridge. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. I I had to throw my first one away because I didn't know. Oh. I, I thought it was like regular bouillon. I thought you could leave it in the cabinet. No, you cannot. <laughs> and that was Kaz and Sherry. They were they looked at me like really crazy, and I was like, "Oh no, this is not right." <laughs> Holy, hola! <laughs> and it was not good. I was so sad. Thank so. you for the gift, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So I'm just wiping my counter up as I go. As, if you clean as you go, you don't have as much to clean. I will have a dishes to do, but that's nothing compared to what it could be. All right. So Cass, do you want to make a drink with me? I need to figure out how I'm going to film this though. Um, oh, I got it. I got you. You guys just keep watching yeah. my potato soup. Make sure nothing's going on with it. And I, I was going to put a cup of milk in there, but I looked at our milk and guess what? Nobody told me it was expired. <laughs> I don't drink it. <laughs> it was like, it's four days gone. So I can't even, I can't even pretend. <laughs> okay. Night, so Alicia. I'm going to move you guys back. And right. It's going to be just a second here. Um, find my Where'd you go? Okay, so what is the drink you're making, Christine? So I am making an Irish coffee. Oh, uh, yum. Ooh. I'm going to go get some, too. I know. So what I'm going to do right now, and um, it's not on camera, is um, make my, my coffee. I'm going to, because we're still watching this, too. It, it doesn't have to be. You can make it cold. No judgment here. So I'm just using my um, my Keurig. So I'm just using some boom, Tony. <laughs> using uh, Sherry got Starbucks. Me, Sherry gave me this, which is Brooklyn, uh, well, Brooklyn iced coffee. So oh, oh. So I'm okay. gonna use that and okay. uh, warm it up in the microwave. Awesome. So something I've learned about because my uh, gift shop's getting ready to open up. Um, a uh, coffee shop is that you need to pack your coffee in these little things. I didn't know that. Oryx is in the house. Hola. Because I guess it extracts it better. So you should pack it in there. But just put the one or two tablespoons in there. But then you're supposed to pack it in there so the water gets all around it. So that I learned. This light. You need to be on or off. Not both. There you go. All right, so we're going to turn that on. We're going to get that going. All right. I'll get, I'll sh I'm going to show you my mug here in just a second. But, okay. Well, let's uh, Sherry said iced coffee, Kaz. <laughs> I'm starting. Okay. So I'm going to, um, one thing I'm going to do is uh, take some heavy whipping cream and just put that in my jar. I'm using probably, I'm going to say that's two, maybe three good tablespoons. And I then <laughs> I got, I, my coffee's not made yet. So I'm just going to whip this up. So this is uh, my coffee, coffee frother, which is a three spring coffee frother that you can get on the link in my bio under kitchen things.
It's going to make you know, work my this. daughter is actually a barista and she makes all those coffee drinks. And she Does just she? recently moved. Yes, but she just recently moved into her own apartment. Oh, so how dare like, her. I would get all these fancy drinks and she would froth the, you know, the cream and stuff. And now she's gone. So, so are all the fancy drinks at my house. <laughs> Did you tell her she has to come over and bring you drinks? <laughs> I know, right? She did it first, but it's like the longer she's been away, the less she comes to visit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that's, I mean, that's pretty thick. You can kind of see. I mean, it's its really kind of stopping it now. You can see how fast it's going, and then once I put it in there, it's like, ugh. It's pretty thick, so. All right, we're going to be done with that. Hi, Oryx. Hi. Hi. Here. So, um, you know, it's that easy to clean, and um, it does come with its own little stand. So oh, nice. That's nice, yeah. All right, so coffee. I'm going to put it on strong. <laughs> Kaz is doing his manually. Yes, I don't he have is. a frother. You know <laughs> he's, he's using the manual frother. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I usually... Oryx says kisses and hugs to you, and she says hello. Oh, hello, hello. And hey, Andrew's here. Andrew, he is um hola. he is whipping some cream. Mr. Orc, I see him. He is whipping Andrew, the cream. I already did mine with cream. my little automatic frothers. <laughs> I can't wait to show you my mug. It's so cute. Kaz, California Huntress says, go, Kaz, go. <laughs> yes, work that arm. Work that arm. <laughs> All right. Everyone's gonna work out tonight little... with the kitchen gadgets. Oh yeah. It is kitchen gadget evening. So I'm waiting for these to basically get fork tender. So it's going to be a, about 20 minutes. That's why I thought, oh, we should make a drink or something. So what about your cauliflower? Is that like about done? Um, Actually, no, because I turned it down too far. Oh, okay, I turned okay. it down to like four. Oh, okay. You, okay. Turn it put it, you put it on the slow and low, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so that it would be done about the same time. Okay. But, okay. You know. Oh, your nails okay. are so cute. Okay, so let's talk about it. I just got them done. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's um, it is purple with unicorn chrome. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I like it. So um, my thing is, is with the traditional um Irish coffee, it is um espresso or coffee. Then a tablespoon of brown or teaspoon of brown sugar, and then you add your Irish whiskey and then your cream on top. But since I'm kind of doing a keto situation, I'm going to add this skinny vanilla syrup instead in place of the brown sugar. So it's it kind of still sweetens it. Okay. But and there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. So I just put it. Here's my coffee. Oh, I gotta show you my mug. So, and we, we just, we just, that's so cute. We just need a recap on what you're making for dinner. Okay. Or for soup. So I am making creamy potato soup. I put, um, I made like six pieces of bacon, chopped them all up. They're right here. Here they are. And, um, in the bacon, took the bacon out, put the bacon grease in the bacon grease. I put, um, half an onion, um, like, two, three cloves of garlic to your taste, um, some ancho chili, and um, I'm trying to think of everything. Um, then sweated that out together and then added uh, better than bouillon, about three to four cups of water, and then um, a cup, no, two cups of, um, see that is boiling, uh, two cups of heavy whipping cream. So we're just gonna let, we're gonna let her go. Just let her get wild in there for about 15 minutes. That'll be good. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm making my a cafe. So I'm gonna let's see. What I don't even it? know what Kaz had. Kaz, what did you show the camera? Yeah, where are you at, was Kaz? That, was that a syrup? That was. Um, or did he have brown that, sugar? That's a um, espresso bean simple syrup. Simple oh, syrup. There you go. Somebody was asking. I don't. I don't see who, but was asking if that was a syrup. Espresso okay. bean simple syrup. Wow. wow, that I looks toasted. fancy. I, okay, I ordered it off of TikTok. Oh, nice. wouldn't you know? Okay. 
I scooted back here so you guys could see me a little better. I'm going to use this, but flip it over. Hey, Christine. Yeah. I, I only, I've got two choices for whiskey. One is okay. a rock, is a rye whiskey, and the other one is Woodford Reserve. One is okay. a rock, is a rye whiskey, and the other one is Woodford Reserve. Oh, always go with Woodford. Woodford, okay. Yeah, Woodford it is. Um, traditionally, you would use Irish whiskey, but you heard. Woodford, okay. Yeah, Woodford it is. Um, traditionally, you would use Irish whiskey, but you, you know, use what you got. <laughs> Kaz. Yes. Gary says you're all foo foo. I never get a chance to make this stuff on, on live. You're so foo foo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm 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 using the Jameson. <laughs> make this stuff on, on live. You're so foo foo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm 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 using the Jameson. <laughs> So foo foo. I'm just doing the whole shot. So there you go. Things could get interesting. <laughs> All right. All right. The whole shot. So there you go. Things could get interesting. <laughs> All right. All right. And then um, give that a little stirry stir um, with your spoon. So in here we have coffee. Um, I. You traditionally would use a teaspoon of brown sugar and then a shot of whiskey, but I used a shot of whiskey and vanilla, zero calorie, zero sugar. And then this is a heavy whipping cream. And you can also flavor this too if you want to. Um, can you guys see it? I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing here. Just spoon it right on top. So and then... And if you want to cheat, Deanna Smith says Food Talk TV after dark, Christine. <laughs> yes, you know it always is with me. After too. dark. <laughs> Y'all know. And if you just want to cheat, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what they do at the restaurant. <laughs> Zero sugar in that as well. And All right, then, Kaz is waiting to toast. <laughs> I know. He's like, look at mine. I'm fancy. I'm like, mm -hmm. you're holding Hold them up. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to get a little Darn it. I, all I have is water. Yeah. Nobody here. told me to bring my own whiskey. That's a little Lily's chocolate on the top. So pretty. And there you go. Nice. How's that? Very nice. Yeah. So it's good. That's boiling, so it's still boiling. So let's get a drink of this. I'll pretend. Mm. That's so nice, guys. Mm, so good. Mm. <laughs> it, is, it is so good. <laughs> I'm just pretending. Oh, oh yes. yum. It's delicious. Listen, I don't have a fake. Um, who is it that doesn't? Oh, Sherry, she can't fake anything either. I can't. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. All right. So um, let's get back to back to this guy down here. All right. Can you see that pretty good? Oh, hang on here. Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. There. Now you can see it a little bit better. Whoa. Come back. And now I can scoot you guys back here, too. Christine, Sherry says, you already know that's so good. Yeah, you already know it's so good. I'm telling you, that really is so good. You mix that cream in with that, just that little bit of chocolate in there, to me, is like the best thing. Oh, man. Oh, I was like, I've already used all my spoons. I like to just get crazy and just stir it all, stir it all together. Has your volume like, so off. Mine is? Or Kaz's is? No, Kaz's. Okay. Kaz's volume's off. He was too busy drinking okay. his drink. I mm -hmm. know, and I was talking too. Hey, you guys, what? please share the live. Let's get more people in here. Oh, yeah. 
This is a crazy 14, one. 14 of you have joined through shares. Let's see if, uh, wow. see if you can share with other with another 14 people. You're oh, here, here. Guys, tell me what your favorite kind of soup is in the comments. I would love to know. I can't believe we went all week and you're the first person to make potato soup. I can't believe that either. I was like, I, that's why I asked in the chat. I was like, mm -hmm. did you guys make potato soup? <laughs> okay, so this is an immersion blender and um, it is made by Mueller. Again, it is in the link in my bio. You can get crazy and you can make this completely smooth. My son likes his like slightly chunky, so I'm just going to go at it just a little bit. Oh, there's some soups here. French onion, um, tortilla soup or chicken vegetable, potato soup, um, veggie soup, clam chowder. Oh, I can clam chowder. Yeah, it's so funny uh, because during squash week, Turns out I was the uh, I was the only person that made uh, zucchini bread, and I was the last person to go. It just it just seems like the obvious stuff. Oh, look at this Tuscan sausage and veggie. Oh yeah. Yes, I did. I made I made clam chowder. I made clam chowder on Friday. It was good. But I added a bay leaf. I wouldn't recommend adding a bay leaf. Yeah, no bay leaf. <laughs> Don't know bay leaf. That recipe that I used said bay leaf. But... You know what? An immersion blender is my favorite, favorite tool in the kitchen. It has fast become mine as well. Yeah, it's it's my favorite. Matter of fact, you um, you used yours even when you didn't have to. All your stuff was smooth and you were still. <laughs> I was playing, yeah. It's you were, it, yeah, it, it you were gets playing. Fun. It's like, you know, therapeutic. <laughs> oh, yeah. It takes you back to kindergarten, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. my gosh, that's funny. Deanna Smith says, Your clam chowder is on my list to try my clam chowder. It was really good. And when I put the recipe on, I omitted that bay leaf. Because those are Lillian's. Did she say you can have one? The Rose 1913 is talking about the Olive Garden, um, okay. Uh, okay. the Olive Garden copy, and oh, that's guys, really I'm good too. Hello, Chef Hello, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. Okay, so this is a little thinner, and it's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to add like a tablespoon of flour. I should have probably done it at the beginning, okay. but I didn't. So I'm just adding. A smidge of water. That's right. Don't use the bay leaf. And it's going to no. be delicious. <laughs> Don't use yeah. the bay leaf. Yeah, no bay leaves. No, thank so you. This, re this recipe, as all of our recipes, uh, will be on foodtalktv.com. Uh, we have a, a recipe blog called In the Kitchen. Oh, uh, Bobby also mentions that uh, instant mashed potatoes will thicken it, it up, too. It does, but I don't have that. <laughs> there we go. So I'm adding the uh, tablespoon of flour. So it is a little thin. So but that's okay. It'll cook down. I need, I probably should have left the lid off. You know, you know how I like to do. I at least mess one thing up during my life. It's never this though. It's never this. <laughs> no, not the drink. Don't mess up. Not the drink. drink. Not the no, drink. Not the, not the drink. Can you be done faster? Yeah, Lane says, can it be done faster? Yes, it can. <laughs> you can you can go ahead and eat it right now. It's gonna burn your mouth. <laughs> it's actually he's those ready. are some he's pretty thick right bubbles. Now. Say what? Actually, those are some pretty thick bubbles. It's uh not it's yeah. not a thin. It thickens thing. right up. It thickened right up when I added that in there. I was gonna say kind of sometimes when it cools, it also thickens a little too. It does. It looks good now. Um, okay, guys. So I think let's check the for doneness in the. I need a fork, Lane. You want to go get me a fork since you want this so bad? So I'm just going to test a fork. I know that the potatoes came right apart when I was uh, doing the immersion blender. 
It's got a little skin skin on the top. I need to. There's one. Oh yeah, these are fork tender. So the reason that I knew that I could use the immersion blender was because I just know about how much time it takes. But you need to check the potatoes before you do that. Oh, okay. So so that was me just jumping just ahead it. with. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, that was me jumping ahead without telling you guys that hey, you need to actually check for doneness, which is fork tender, which means you can just stick the fork through it real easy. That's all fork tender yeah, is. We have, a, we have a comment here that for doneness, which is fork tender, which means you can just stick the fork through it real easy. That's all fork tender yeah, is. We have, a, we have a comment here that that are cheese, but I think she is adding it, some cheese. It's coming. Yeah, <laughs> That's she's... the very next step. See, we're, so... Everyone's, we're jumping ahead of you, Christine. I know. It's okay. I was jumping ahead too. That's because we're all hungry and we want a bowl now. We need the cheese. <laughs> You want to get the keys and get a bowl. <laughs> Look, you see this right here? This is my two kids. They are ready. So I told That's them like that. My, um, kids, they, my kids come in like sharks. You know, they're like, they're they like, this, like you know, sharks. You guys swimming swim around, swimming. like waiting for the. Okay. So product. I did turn this down to like medium low and I'm adding um, four state cheddar and you guys can add whatever cheddar cheese you got. Um, I also oh. had like part of this bag of thick cut uh mild white cheddar i'm just throwing that in there too it's fine it's as long oh. as it's cheddar it doesn't matter well i don't think you actually needed that flour then i don't know it yeah looks it's really thin thing. for me it's okay yeah it's fine it looks really thin like it looks thinner than it usually does okay so we're going to give this a stir it looks so good it does huh? it looks so good <laughs> feed me yes the like Lillian the says feed me swimming. feed me <laughs> oh my gosh you guys, uh, so it's please literally follow us done on our, please follow us on our other platforms as well as uh, Food Talk TV like we are on YouTube and we are on Facebook if you miss any of this live and want to see what came before please 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 <laughs> That came uh, go to YouTube and Facebook and you can watch this, this entire live tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. I got a slotted spoon because I wanted to get some of the potatoes out, you know, to make it look nice. I need three bowls. Yeah. I need one that I'm going to take pictures of <laughs> that you guys are not going to eat. Yeah. I already learned that lesson in my house. You have to get your oh, picture bowl out of the way. Yeah. Well, this the is, shark no. will get it. The shark will get it. All right. So this is. Do you want um? Do you want the chives and the sour cream on top or any of that bacon? No bacon. Oh, Lillian's like plain. She's like, I want that. Give it to me. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't want chives. Yes, Chef or Jeff, you're right. Uh, the shredded cheese has cornstarch, and cornstarch is definitely going to help thicken oh, yeah. really quick. Okay. Yeah, that's I. You know, that's true. All right. You you just want bacon. Okay. Is that good? Do you want more? Protein yo? Okay. All right. You good? Yeah. All right. So now let's make a pretty one the way it's supposed Bradley to look. Bradley says he needs a bowl, Christine, and he needs bacon. Oh, yeah. Listen, I mean, if you don't want bacon in this, like, what are you even doing? So I was talking to Kaz earlier, and I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, Sam's Club sells a whole entire bag of nothing but small bacon pieces. Let me show you. I've got to go get it right now. Um because it's so amazing. I tell everyone, I'm like, if you love bacon bits, these are the way to go. Because they're real. So, hang on one second. I got it right here. Christy Compton says she needs all the toppings. Everything. Oh. Whatever you have. Every single topping you have there. Yes. My son said if I made five pounds, that would be good. <laughs> five pounds of soup. Oh, here it is. And ah. Chef Jeff says it looks delicious this oh wow yes so what i like to do is i like to just add that in there there we go so, now now you're talking there we yeah. go yeah. now we're good so everybody else wanted theirs the way they wanted it i was like i forgot about that what about yours what, what about your soup Oh, yeah. Listen, it's coming. It's ready. <laughs> and I'm like, it's going to have bacon and all the good stuff. So here's the other bowl that I was doing. And then I so like look to decorate it up. Got. 
Yeah, huh? it's thick enough. Look really how thick nicely. it got when, it, when you cooled oh, yeah. it down. It got thick, thick. Oh, yeah. It looks real nice. And then I like to do a little. Where is my scissors at? They're always. You guys, please share. Me. Thank you for the 22,000 likes. Wow, guys, you are really going to town. Thank you. I appreciate every bit of that. Okay, and then a little bit of sour cream. Oh, it's so pretty. I know, right? This is it's kind of half behind our boxes, but it still looks pretty. Oh, here, here, here. I'm going to do a little. Nice. Ooh. Gorgeous. Screenshot. I know. Screenshot. Get it, guys. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. All right. So there is that one. So now I'm going to swap. Swap. Get back. Get back there. Okay. So now I have um, the um, cauliflower. And it's basically cauliflower soup. Hang on here. I need to get my immersion blender. Where'd she go? But see, that's okay because cauliflower is virtually indistinguishable from uh, uh, potato in yeah. this application. Yeah, once you cook it, it's fine. And I'm just chopping it up a little bit more just to get some more creaminess out of it. Just take it off, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. There we go. Yeah, go to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, this I love this immersion blender like so much. All right, so then I need cheese for mine. Let's see what I got. Of course, you guys already already know I'm adding bacon. <laughs> and the bacon. I got a whole other bag of the thick cut cheese. Nice. Okay, so. Uh... Okay, so yours has got all white cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. You can use either. I one. know. Yeah, it's all good. This chair. That's what she uh, has left. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, listen, I got this whole bag. The, the shark's got the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, the sharks. <laughs> and the. Uh, uh, it's so silly because the orange cheese is only orange because they put a natto into it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Oh, look I at those French tip it. nails. So, oh, yeah. We already admired those while you were busy whipping your cream. Yeah, that's oh, true. Yeah. I got... Um, I was working. Purple, purple chrome <laughs> French chips today. So I was on the I was on the call with you guys when I was on my way over to get them done. Yeah, they that's look what cute. I was doing. Thank you. All righty. So that looks pretty good. Oh man, there's a lot of cheese in there too. Okay, let me get a bowl because <laughs> I'm hungry too. I would love some of this. Let's see. Of course, I gotta go get my. I gotta rinse this off real quick. You guys, she she has made a uh, cheese and cheesy bacon potato soup, and she also made a cocktail and Irish coffee. I made made it with her, and oh, yeah. now she's making the low carb version, which instead it's of it's potatoes not, it's has pretty. cauliflower. It's never as pretty, but it tastes just as good. Look how cheesy it is, though. I oh, know it is very cheesy. And then um, let's do. Uh, I'm trying to... Peacefully, Heather. No, she can have the potato, but she prefers not to. It's uh, she's going yeah. keto friendly. Keto friendly. Or low carb. You can also just say low carb. Yes. But some people can't do a lot of carbohydrate, so they need to cut it where they can. And um, you know, I try as much as I can. I don't need to. I just I would prefer to. I I work at a candy company, so it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's like torture hard. every day it is and let me tell you i do give in i do give in i'm gonna put the rest of that bacon on there because why not <laughs> it's my plate all right all right guys that is it so we have let's see that two one. different ways i have the potato the bacon creamy bacon potato soup and that looks so creamy good bacon cauliflower soup <laughs> i guess you could call it that looks so beautiful basically i would the take same either one two different ways yeah it's really good let me turn these off real quick 
And um, and those are garnished with chives, right? Yes, this is um, chives and then bacon and then sour cream. So basically it's like Beautiful. a loaded baked potato. I guess I could put some cheese on there if I wanted. Put a little mm. more cheese on there for mm. effect. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like more cheese? Me, I do. I like there more cheese. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Is that good? Yes, it is. Now, all that bowl needs is a spoon. I know. I'm going to get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it. Okay. And me eating it. All right. So, let me get my camera up here so you guys can her see unicorn cube. Oh, there's the cook. We haven't seen her in a in 45 minutes. <laughs> Hola. Did you see Icky <laughs> down there? Yes, we saw Icky next to your unicorn shoes. <laughs> He's down there. He's like, come on, draw me some bacon, yo. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. So this is the um, the the keto or low-carb version of it. Let me get some bacon in there. The right cheese there. just hanging there. It is. That looks so good. It looks so good. Yeah? yeah. I would actually add more cheese to this. <laughs> yep. Is there room for more cheese more in cheese. there? Just a little more cheese, right? <laughs> yeah, is there it's any, fine. There's no room for, for more cheese in there. More cheese, more bacon. <laughs> it looks super good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I'm so hungry. I have to make my dinner now. Man, this is good. And if you guys have never had an Irish coffee, it's so simple to make. Chef Winky, yes. Uh, if you go to foodtalktv.com, uh, under the events, which is right at the top menu, you'll see uh, when everybody is going to be on. You'll see the days. Joanne7713 mm -hmm. says, always more cheese. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> I agree. That was beautiful, Christine. All the Christine, cheese. Christine, all I have left is whipped cream. All I have is <laughs> oh. whipped cream in there. What am I going to do? You need to fix it. You need to fix it. <laughs> Add some whiskey to that and. Yeah. Okay. More whiskey, more coffee. You're good. <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry. I had to fix that again. All right. So, uh, Lane is finishing his first bowl. <laughs> Why don't you have the rest of mine? Okay. I don't like drinking food. Lillian doesn't, she doesn't care for it, but Lane will eat this soup all day, every day. Okay. She's been, she's fastly become my picky eater. <laughs> I have one of those. Mm-hmm. I just want to drink my food. So her dad <laughs> and her, did you hear her? She goes, I don't like drinking my food. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't care as long as it tastes good. <laughs> but okay. I don't care. Um, so yeah, guys, this was so good. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. yes. If you guys need to know how to fix a light switch, go over to my page. <laughs> <laughs> I have a viral video over there of me fixing a light switch of all things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, October dragonfly right now is viral. She is viral. And, uh, it's, uh, her fixing a light switch. Mm-hmm. It's not Hang even cooking. But hold on. Lane's month, coming in for six seconds. weeks ago. She had one of her changing a garbage disposal, so maybe that is her thing. Maybe, <laughs> but I, my my passion is honestly just feeding my people. Um, do you want more bacon? Do you want more bacon? You need to start stuff? fixing stuff. No. You Thank good? you for the twenty five thousand right. likes, guys. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. That's so um, good. Joanne says she likes your dragonfly necklace. Oh, thanks. That's also available on the link in my bio. <laughs> I was I wear this every day. Aww. I do. Yep. Mm hmm I love it. In fact, when I was on the call earlier with you guys, I touched my neck and I didn't have it on. And it freaked me out. I was like You thought you lost it someplace? Mm. I left it on my sink because I had taken a shower. So, you know. Hey, uh, the chef god, Moses, thank you for tapping the screen. Thank you, Benita, for tapping the screen. Mm -hmm. Sherry, I know her fingers are raw. She's always I tapping know. the you screen guys, for us. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. You guys have a good night. I am done. Um, I think that was right at an hour. So, um, creamy, 
bacon potato soup. You definitely should give it a try. And then, I mean, an Irish coffee, it's a classic. You should definitely give this a try. All right, guys. When, when, when are we, we going to see you again? Me? Yes. In two weeks? Two weeks. I will be in this spot next week. Yes, wait, wait, wait. wait Kat one last and question. I both go live on Sunday. We take turns. We go back and yep. forth. Um, thanks for watching Food Talk TV. If you have not checked out foodtalktv.com, definitely go give it a, a check. Or you can go on Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, um, Twitter now, and Snapchat. We're on all the social medias and Twitch. So you can check yep. us out on all of it. We appreciate it. And, and follow Wait. all of the creators, Sketchy Chef, Cooking with Kaz, um, let's see if I can remember everybody, Ashby yeah, Cooking, Guadua Cooks, um, Sherry Skinner, um, Frank Mentors F SF, I'm missing one, just Gluten like Granny. Gluten Free Mama, Chef Bradley. Gluten Free Mama and Chef Bradley. That's it. I got it. <laughs> cook it, Erica. And wait a minute. One last question. Bradley and wants to know don't if forget the soup is Erica. available in the link in your bio. What's, I'm sorry, say that again. Bradley wants to know if the soup is available in the link in your bio. <laughs> no, but the tools to make it are. <laughs> All right. I keep slow. You guys have a good night. And thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Kristen. Bye. terrible huh huh what do you say it wasn't terrible <laughs>